Our hotel is only about three miles from the Tunisian coastal city of Madia, so we decided to go and explore. It gives us the opportunity to see the local scenery. It's indeed another beautiful day and we're looking forward to exploring this North African city. Madia has a population of 62,000 on the southern coast of the Mediterranean Sea, about 130 miles to the south of Tunis, the location of the ancient city of Carthage, and about 200 miles to the west of Sicily and Malta. It certainly has the character and feel of a North African city. The old part of Madia corresponds to the old Roman city of Aphrodisium and it was later called Africa. Aphrodite, the ancient Greek goddess of sexual love and beauty, was identified with Venus by the Romans. The Greek word Aphros meaning foam, as in the foam of the sea, and Aphrodite was widely worshipped as a goddess of the sea and of seafaring. Our first stop was the Cap Africa Peninsula and the cemetery and lighthouse that have beautiful views. The taxi then dropped us in the Medina, the Skifa Kala being a fortification that dates back to 916 and one of the ancient walls of Madia. It's the gate to the historic centre of Madia. Next to it, the museum. The mosque nearby. and a supermarket. On entering the old city, we were immediately confronted by a typical North African arcade with tourist shops. Inside the city we began to explore. A wide variety of shops beckoning us, offering mainly clothing. Madia is known for its weaving. For me, it was a special treat. I love to explore new places, and the old city here brought back memories of Marrakesh in Morocco. Ben and Bella were also enjoying the occasion. In many tourist destinations, the things on sale are imports from China, but clearly these were local products. The mosque, the buildings, and even the products on sale, leaving us in no doubt where we are. Special. Amy felt she'd arrived in Aladdin's cave, 
and so she took advantage of the opportunity. I presume this dressing gown will keep her warm in the English winters. At this point, Nate and I left Amy and the kids to do the shopping and went off to explore the harbour. As a fishing boat passes us, we are immediately reminded that Mardia has always been important for fishing and the fish processing industry. In the evening, the fishing boats are all back in the harbour and we enjoyed the sunset on a beautiful evening. For the fishermen, their day's work is done. The harbour, peaceful, beautiful, serene. And I imagine this has been going on for centuries. The sea providing an abundant harvest. So where are the fishermen? They probably dropped off the fish at home for their wives to cook and are watching the football game. So we strolled back to Amy and the kids and got some pictures of them. We all really had a great time. What's next? We're going to have a drink in this delightful place. 